So what's the Async L5? That's coming right up. Welcome to Run Playback. This week we're taking a sneak peek at the Async L5, a prototype fat tire all-terrain e-bike that's a companion model to their flagship A1 series. Remember, it's still in prototype phase, but let's explore what it currently offers and what's expected in the final version. So let's get to it. The L5 boasts an async aluminum frame with futuristic aesthetics. Similar to the design of the A1 Pro, this definitely sets it apart in the e-bike landscape. It's a bike that will turn heads because of its unique looks. For the L5 prototype, we're looking at a 750-watt rated, 1280-watt peak hub motor paired with a 48-volt, 15-amp-hour battery. The final production model will have a 52-volt, 20-amp-hour battery. And while the prototype caps the top speed at 20 miles per hour, the production model aims to hit 28 miles per hour. Async claims up to 70 miles of range range, depending on pedal assist level, and about 45 miles on pure throttle, which is pretty respectable for urban commutes and light trail adventures. But there's no way for us to test this in the real world without the 52-volt battery. Shifting is handled by a Shimano 9-speed derailleur, ensuring quick and precise gear changes. The Logan 2-piston hydraulic disc brakes provide reliable stopping power, especially for the weight of the bike, which is 77 pounds. Comfort could be better as the DDK seat is a hard saddle without cushioning. Also, the coil spring front suspension fork on the Pro prototype is just okay. Today we're taking a look at the Async L5 prototype, which is a fat tire all-terrain e-bike. First we got these 26 inch by 4 inch Kenda Crusade tires, and it has kind of a dual sport tread, good for street and off-road. We got an integrated headlight, we got Logan two piston hydraulic disc brakes, we got an integrated front fender, we got the front coil spring suspension fork with the lockout over here. You got an MTB style handlebar, and it has a bit of a rise over here, so depending on the angle of how you install it you can make it a little bit higher a little bit closer to you or further out so we have some basic rubberized locking grips over here we have a left mounted thumb throttle we have your controls for the display over here it's a logan hydraulic disc brake here is the center mounted 5.5 inch color ips display so one thing to note is that it is a prototype so there's no iot functions in the actual production model you're going to have the iot functions like digital key geolocation auto unlock and find my bike and this will integrate with your smartphone. Here's another look at the Shimano Acera 9-speed derailleur for quick and precise shifting, and then the right-hand rubberized locking grip. Now, as far as the battery, this prototype is 48 volts and 15 amp hours, and it's inside of the frame. For the production model, it will be removable, and it'll actually be a 52 volt, 20 amp hour battery. So more range uh, on the final production model. Here we have a DDK saddle seat. We have a really large integrated rear fender. This is perfect for keeping all the debris and all the mud off your back. Here we have an Async branded 750 watt rated 1280 watt peak hub motor. We also have the integrated tail lights. And when you press the brake, it gets brighter. So what's unique about these brake lights is that they are integrated into the frame and there are two of them. So great for visibility and riding at night. Here's another look at the Logan hydraulic disc brake on the rear and then another look at the Shimano Acera 9-speed derailleur. So the total weight of the L5 prototype is 77 pounds. So it's um, pretty lightweight. Obviously it'll probably get a little bit heavier in the final production model but it is still substantial. So now that we've gone over all the specs, let's take the Async L5 prototype out for its first ride. All right guys, first ride with the Async L5 prototype. Like I said, it is a prototype, so some things will change. I think the big difference is gonna be the battery. So this is 48 volts. Uh, the production model will be 52 volts. So this will mainly be about the handling and how it performs in this parking lot. I can kind of flat foot it. I'm still kind of tippy toeing a little bit and we'll set it to pedal assist level three. Okay, and here we go. So the pedal assist comes in a little strong, but it's definitely working naturally with my pedal movements. So the torque sensor is doing its thing. It could probably be calibrated maybe a little bit better, but it's fine for now. Now I do hear some rattling and it's probably the fenders um, and maybe my uh, front suspension isn't, isn't tuned up correctly, but 
Uh, if you hear rattling, it's, it's mainly just the fenders. I probably didn't uh, install them correctly. All right. So level three feels very natural. No throttle, just pedaling. Other than the noise and the rattling, um, the pedaling feels very, very good. The tune on the controller, it doesn't feel too strong. And yeah, really nice. Now the terrain that I'm on, this parking lot, is really, really uneven. There's a lot of debris on the road, it's hard to tell, but there's a lot of cracks in this parking lot. And the suspension is kind of doing its thing. It's a coil spring suspension, so I don't expect a whole lot out of it, but it's fine for this sort of terrain. Something maybe a little bit bumpier might be a little more uncomfortable. We'll, we'll try it on the grass. Uh, let's bump this up to pedal assist level five, and we'll use some throttle. And yeah, plenty of power. Easy to get up to speed. I believe this thing will top out at 20 miles per hour, the prototype. And I think the production model will top out at 28 miles per hour. Okay. And looks like we're hitting 20 on the display. Yeah, it's maxed out at 20. So this is um, very similar to other all-terrain fat tire e-bikes that we've tried. I think the uh, design is obviously much more interesting. Um, be really cool to see the IOT features Im implemented on this bike. Uh, that's one thing that's not enabled for this prototype. Let's go on some grass, see what this looks like. All right, easy to get up this hill. Not bad. And I am on grass, so it's not too, not too bad, but um, the suspension is working, doing its thing. 26 inch by four inch fat tires are very helpful. Let's go all the way down here and off the curb and not bad. All right, what else can we test? I guess we could try the hydraulic brakes. Uh, so this uses Logan two piston hydraulic brakes. Let's get up to speed. And then test the brakes. All right, plenty of stopping power. All right, so first impressions with the Async L5 prototype. I like it. Um, there's definitely lots of things that I wish it came with. Obviously the 52 volt, I'd have a better idea of how this thing would perform. Um, it performs fine for 48 volt. It is limited to 20 miles per hour. I know 48 volt can go a little bit higher on the top speed, but um, it's limited. Uh, I'm sure there's gonna be a way to unlock it later on. Um, the design is really what attracts me to this bike. I've never seen a frame like this, so it looks really futuristic. If you're looking for kind of like a fat tire, mountain bike style, you know, all-terrain style bike, um, you know, the, the tires are, are big and beefy, 26 inch, and it has kind of a dual sport tread on it, so you can ride this on the road. Um, this is ideal. I mean, especially for a place like here, which is Michigan, uh, during the winter, you probably want a bike like this to go over some of the roads out here. It really remains to be seen once the final production model is complete to see uh, my final assessment and whether it'd be a solid recommend. But um, overall, it's really cool to see Async doing some really interesting things in the electric bike space. Safety isn't overlooked with integrated headlights and dual rear tail lights with brake functionality. The center mounted 5.5 inch color IPS display is a plus, offering clear visibility of your ride stats. The L5 prototype lacks IoT functions, but the production model promises digital key, geolocation, auto unlock, and find my bike features, opening up lots of possibilities for customization. So here's what we like. The frame design is a definite winner as it's unique and futuristic. The large 26 by four inch fat tires mean enhanced traction and stability, great for diverse 
reduce writing conditions, and the IoT functions in the production model are exciting, hinting at extensive customization and tech integration. But here's a few things to consider. The front suspension on the prototype is adequate, but could be improved with an air fork. Also without working IoT features in the prototype means we're missing out on what could be the bike's main selling point. Overall, the Async L5 prototype is a glimpse into what could be a very interesting addition to the A1 series. Its unique design and promised tech features set high expectations for the final production model. While the prototype leaves us wanting more, the potential of the full version is definitely exciting. So what do you think about the Async L5? Does its futuristic appeal and upcoming tech features intrigue you? Or do the current limitations dampen your enthusiasm? Share your thoughts in the comments. As always, if you want to dive into more EV tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.